the most important function for EMBC, I see, is to support uh, and fund EMBO and its activities. To support scientists at all stages of their careers. So I'm Matteo Allegretti. I am a postdoc in Martin Beck Lab in Embol Heidelberg. I'm originally from Italy. Now I'm doing my postdoc here. Uh, with my, my postdoc, I'm interested in studying the structure of macromolecules inside the cells, in particular uh, the nuclear pore complex. I would like to highlight especially the long-term fellowship program because uh, I think this is not only providing some funding for very talented young researchers at an early stage of their career, uh, which is already very important, but also it gives them some environment and provides them with uh, uh, an idea that they belong to a community, uh, which is extremely important for them. Like Matteo, each year about 200 postdoctoral researchers benefit from EMBC funding. I'm very happy because it's a very prestigious fellowship. Naturally, it allows me to have a very big network in all Europe, so that's very important for my career. I think the networking uh, across Europe and beyond is extremely important for science and scientists. And over the years, uh, the science policy program has been developing and become more and more important. The workshop and courses, for example, help to spread the latest technological innovation, best practice procedures, to the researchers in the member community. Very often during these courses, the international team of instructors and the participants work together very intensely for a few days and they keep the relationship long after the course. Um, and so the workshops are an excellent tool to network throughout the member community. On 13th of February 1969, three countries initially signed the EMBC agreement. This year, the EMBC celebrates its 50th anniversary. Today, 30 countries make up this international and independent funding body, and the community keeps growing. The EMBC was established with two main missions. The first one was to secure um, funding for EMBO activities, uh, at that time, essentially the uh, fellowships and the workshops and the courses. And uh, the second mission was the, the generation, the creation of, of, the, of the lab, the EMBL. And if we think about it now, about these two missions, we can now say that really the two missions have been fulfilled really very successfully. The momentum for establishing EMBO and the EMBC came from a group of molecular biologists with a European vision. The Nobel laureates Max Perutz, Sidney Brenner, John Kendrew, and molecular biologists and physicists were amongst them. Their aim was to create a profile for this new discipline that was independent from national agendas. So these documents are really they're a testament to the things that can be done when nations work uh, together. It's they're the collaboration that led to the establishment of first EMBO and then EMBC 50 years ago, and realizing that if you pull together resources, um, you'll get further than if you went there on your own. The EMBC is an intergovernmental organization with the mission to foster excellence in the life sciences. Delegates from the EMBC member states discuss and decide EMBO's strategic direction and budget. Using the funds provided by the EMBC, EMBO executes its programs. EMBO uh, EMBC is unique because it um, addresses very specific needs to, to bring back and to support, to provide motivation, a startup, to the new group leaders with great future. That's uh, very different from any other program. Associate member states and cooperation partners enlarge EMBO's reach beyond Europe. I am from a, a third world country. I come originally from Chile. Uh, we, NBC will, will now uh, sign an agreement with Chile and that also shows that uh, the values and the moral and the ethics uh, around NBC are going well beyond Europe. 
uh, spreading the values of Europe, collaboration, networking, integration, and the pursuit of knowledge. Now we are at a critical moment in Europe, as you know, as a you know macro organization, and uh, for science, it's also a critical point because we have faced an amazing economic crisis. Uh, this has affected differently different countries, but all of us have suffered from it. And I think that we have to recover from that fully, and we have to think of the future. And indeed, we need the NBC to still secure funding for all these activities. Mm -hmm.